please. Good morning. Uh, so welcome to your Fusion class. Thank you so much for being here. We will go ahead and get started in Shavasana. Um, just before we do get started, keeping in mind any time that um, you need to make adjustments or modifications for yourself, if something that I'm doing is not working for your body, if you have any injuries or limitations, please accommodate those for your own practice. I don't want you to get hurt. I just want you to have fun and um, get strong. That's really what life's all about. Just getting stronger and having fun in the process. So we will go ahead and get started on our backs in Shavasana. Letting the eyes close. Option is to send the legs all the way along down the mat. Just letting the feet fall to the outside edges. Relaxing in the ankles, relaxing in the thighs. If you have any tension or tightness in the lower back, option here is to bend through the knees, placing the soles of feet flat on the earth, the knees pointing up to the sky. Or maybe you wanna open up the hips and supine butterfly the soles of feet to touch, knees laid out wide. If you can have the arms all the way long down the body with the palms facing up to receive energy. Or you can have the palms facing down to feel a little bit more grounded. Or maybe you want the arms up above the head, opening up the shoulders, opening up the heart. Wherever you find yourself, just letting the eyes close or take a soft focus, bring the attention inward. Good, feeling the rise and fall with every inhale and exhale. Feeling the lungs and the belly expand as you invite the breath, invite the energy into your body, waking yourself up a little bit more each time. And then as you exhale, just releasing any distracting thoughts. Good, using the breath to anchor yourself in this moment. Use the breath to create a safe space for yourself from remembering that this is the place that you can let go of your ego. Letting go of any judgments or expectations that you have on yourself or on anybody else. Just take this next hour for you. Very gently wiggling in the fingers and toes, drawing awareness back into the body. And opening the eyes when you're ready. Good, pointing the toes, engaging through the legs, sending the legs all the way long down the mat. Inhale the arms up above the head, big stretch, letting that low back arch off the mat. Good, and letting a loud noise exhale through the open mouth as you release the arms into cactus, 90, 90 percent the head. Nice, drawing knees into chest. Option is to wrap the arms around the shins. And option is to take a little rock side to side. You can make it bigger, little. Good, and again, still paying attention to that breath here. Option is to stay with whatever breathing you're doing, whatever breathing is working for you, or maybe you wanna connect with your Ujjayi Pranayama. That's your ocean sounding breath. So you can bring a slow four second inhale through the nose, pull the pause at the top, push the breath to the back of the throat, and then release a slow four second exhale through the nose with a pause at the base. Whatever breath you stay connected with, just make sure that you're staying connected with it as we go throughout class today, taking breaks as you need to. Gonna coming into stillness if you haven't already, extending both arms and legs up to the sky, circling ankles and wrists out a few times, just getting those joints warmed up. Good, switching directions here. And coming into stillness, grabbing behind thighs, calves, or ankles, drawing both legs in for a double hamstring stretch. An option is to point and flex the toes at the top. Maybe you want to alternate between both. Go to every point, feeling a nice stretch in the shin. Then with every flex, feel the nice stretch in the calf. Okay, so when you're ready, you're going to flex through both feet, bending into the knees, grabbing an inside or outside grip of the feet, finding your happy baby. Just opening up through the hips here. So you want to make sure that the soles of feet are facing up to the sky with the ankles stacked directly over top of the knees. And again, always option to stay in stillness, or you can take that little rock side to side. Just take one more deep breath here, maybe exhaling through an open mouth, letting go of anything that's lingering, any distractions. Good, coming into stillness when you're ready. Use the hands to close the feet together, bring the knees to touch and release the arms of the cactus 90, 90 beside the head. Option is to keep the knees side by side, or you can cross that right leg over the left. Inhale, draws both knees into the chest, and exhale, releases legs to the left side of the mat. Option to let the gaze fall over the right shoulder, coming into a spinal twist. 
If you want to place that left hand outside the right thigh, deepening the twist just a little bit. Just try to actively press that right shoulder blade down so that you're keeping the twist in the spine. Good. Next, inhale, carefully uncross the legs, return the knees through center, and gently rock it out side to side to neutralize the spine. And when you're ready, coming into stillness, option is to keep the knees side by side, or you can cross that left knee over right. Inhale, draws knees to chest, and exhale, releases legs to the right. Option, gaze to the left. And again, option is to place that right hand outside left thigh, just trying to keep that left shoulder blade down. Nice spinal twist. Good, and carefully uncross the legs, return the knees to center, and gently rock it out side to side. And when you're ready, coming into stillness, wrap the arms around the shins, take three big rocks up and down the mat, massaging the spine on the way. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and meet in standing. And we'll switch out the playlist here, grab a little sip of water on your way. All right, all right. So starting and standing, big toes touch, a little space in between the heels, coming into Tadasana. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch, option to back bend, and exhale, release forward into your fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms to mat, stepping back to plank. Double check in here that the shoulders are stacked directly over top of the wrists. We're pulsing those heels back, getting ready. In five, six, seven, eight, heels back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two, option to just hold. And three, maybe you wanna bring the knees down, just keep breathing. That's four, you got the core is tight. Five, not sinking in the shoulders, actively pressing the mat away from you. You're halfway there. Seven. Eight. Nine, knees forward, don't let the head hang. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press it back, down dog. Good, right leg lift, getting ready. In five, six, seven, eight, it's up. Two, three, good, four, take both legs straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last twenty, then we have runner's lunge. Just keep breathing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice sweep it through. Right knee is directly over top of the right ankle. You're light on those fingertips. Back knee drops. Getting ready? In five, six, seven, eight. Knee down. Two, three, four. Light on the fingertips. Six, good. Seven, level threes off to no hands. And two, you're still breathing. Three, stick with it. Last twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Bring the feet together. Chest is lifted. We step it right, left. Join in whenever you're ready. That's right, left. Good. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two level threes, arms up. Five steps by the ears, don't bend the elbows. Last ten, then we jump the feet out and in. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, jump it out. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nice low. 
and two. Last 20, then we come into high knees. And get ready. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Three. Four, core tight. Five, keep going. Six. Seven, lift the thighs. Eight. Nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Feet come as wide as the mat. They're parallel. Lift the big toes. Sit it as low as you can. Make sure the knees don't cave in. You want to keep them pressing out wide. The toes are lifted. We pulse the hips right here. Get ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We pulse. And two. Option to dilute. Just don't sit as low. Three, four, five, back is flat, six, no rounding, seven, eight, nine, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Good, wiggle the hips up. When you're ready, stepping back to plank. Lower here. Alternating shoulder taps. Don't let the hips move side to side. You can keep the knees down with the toes tucked if you need. Getting ready, right hand to left shoulder first. Five, six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Good. Three. Four, you're almost there. Last ten, Alina, down dog. Seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Press it back, down dog. Left leg lifts. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's up. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Keep both legs straight. Palms are pressing down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two with your round lunge. Again, that left knee is directly on top of the left ankle. Light on those fingertips. Back knee drops. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two level threes, off to no hands. Three, make sure that front knee does not go over the toes. Last 20. Six, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, it's ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet together to step it left, 
right, and one, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two level threes, off to track his arms, keep the elbow back. Last ten, let me jump the feet out and in. Seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one, we jump it up. Two, three, nice, low. That's two, you got it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Kick it back. Two, three, four. Good. And two, lean the body forward. That's three options. Bring the arm to it. Four, keep breathing. Five. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, three, two, one. Nice. Back yourself up. So you've got some room in front of you. So you have two options here. You can either pull the knees up, still keeping that core tight, really lifting from the thighs, just slow high knees, or we're kicking the feet out in front of us. Again, lifting through the thighs. Core is tight. Right leg to start. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right. Left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Three, core is tight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
Ready? Two, one, fist up, rotate head. Two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, right fist is right by the jaw. Three, you're still breathing. Last one, that's it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay the way that you're facing. Right leg goes back, point the toe, reach the arms forward, right knee in. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight, it's in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. You're halfway there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Just grab yourself a good sip of water. Cool. We were going for a little while there. All right. We're going to give the legs a little bit of a break. And actually, we're going to go ahead and start without weights. So when you're ready, if your arms are going out, you want to keep your arms shoulder height. All we're doing is rotating that shoulder cuff forward and back. Cool, so it's like you have cuffs in your hands and you're tipping them out and bringing them back up. Option is to grab all the light weights if you want. Getting ready, arms up. Five, six, seven, eight, it's forward, back. Two, three, rotating those shoulders. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. You've got to keep breathing, keep your arms lifted. Five, good, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, three. Sorry, my cat's gonna be Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. That's it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, nice. When you're ready, you can hold on weights if you want, but it's just watching your feet or a hip width apart or not width apart. You sit it low in the legs, right leg comes up, then we sit it low in those legs, left leg comes up. If you have a band and you want the challenge, you can bring a band around the thighs. Totally optional. Maybe you want to hold on to some weights. Getting ready? We go drop into that squat and then that right leg lifts. Five, six, seven, eight. It's down, right, down, left. Good. Two, nice. Right, down, left. Three, down, left. Four, down, left. Five, down, left. Six, down, left. Seven, down, left. Good. Eight. Nine, ten, last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, right, down, left. That one's mean because you're actually doing like 40 squats. When you're ready, just grabbing onto your band if you have it in your hands. If you don't have a band, you can use a weight or option no equipment, just really, really flex that muscle. 
So when you're ready, that left hand is going all the way forward, holding on to that band. The right hand grabs onto it. So the left hand is forward, right hand is looking through like so. You're keeping that left hand out. That right elbow is pulling back. Nice and wide. So we're working into that right arm. Again, option is just to use a weight. You can pull that weight back. You just want to keep the elbow lifted and keep the elbow going out wide. Getting ready, that right elbow goes out wide to start. Five, six, seven, eight, and pull. Forward, two, keep the control. Three, four, five, six, like you're shooting the bow and arrow. And eight, okay. Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, Thank you. 
two, and down, last one, it's left, right, down, four, two, nice, keep the weights, you're strong, you're almost there, the arms are going alongside the body, just dipping it into the oblique, so we're dropping the shoulders, but you want to keep it in the core, getting ready, right side drops first, five, six, seven, eight, it's right, left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, to the core is tight, three, okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, you're still breathing. Hit the stroke. And four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. When you're ready, let go of one weight, but keep one. Grab a little sip of water because you want to stay hydrated just for fun. Good, and when you're ready, you're gonna find goddess position for your feet. So your feet are wider than your hips. They're gonna turn out at a 45 degree angle. And you wanna keep the big toes lifted so that when you sit alone into those legs, you don't want the knees to cave in. You wanna keep them pressing out nice and wide. That right forearm is resting right on top of that right thigh. You can just rest your weight onto there. And your left arm is going long. When I count you down, left arm goes up to the sky, getting a nice twist in the core. And then you drop that shoulder down. So it's up and down. Watch that your head doesn't come up and down with you. It's just that arm and the core that we're working. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, down, two, down, nice, three, down, four. The whole body doesn't move. It's just that arm. Six, seven, you're breathing. Eight, you're almost there. Nine will be 25. Ten, and two, two, three, four, five, last time, that's it. Eight, seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice, give those legs a little shake out. When you're ready, that one weight comes into both hands. So we're, again, we're low into those legs. You bring it up. Again, the arms come up um, shoulder height, and then you drop low. So it's up, down. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, down. Two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, last one, down, elbows wide, down, and two, nice, three, four, five, last five, four, three, two, one, and down, we're staying low, that left arm comes on that left side, Right arm is long, lift the weight. Same thing. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three. Four, five, last ten, nine, you're almost there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, nice, give those legs a little shake up. When you're ready, you're gonna um, grab onto some water and make your way down to your mat. So, if you have a yoga block, um, you can just put it on your mat in front of you, standing up nice and tall. If you don't have a yoga block, you can use your water bottle too. It's just there as a guide for you. 
um, as a little marker for where your legs are going to be. So your legs start on the right side of the water bottle or the block. Your hands are on the mat on either side of your hips. Your fingertips are facing forward. Your core is tight and your back is flat. You do not want to round the spine here. Coming into jackknives right here. Cool. When you're ready, take a deep breath. Lean back, legs are lifted. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, it's in. Two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Left 
Right toes are touching the mat behind you. Again, you want to keep the head stacked one on top of the other. That left leg is long, foot is flexed, really engaging, throw that whole leg. We're here for 200. That's it. Take breaks if you need to. Five, six, seven, eight. Meet pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. We're going to press into that heel. Three, you got it. Keep breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. And one, two, three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last twenty, that's it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Hug those knees into the chest and just give it a little rock outside the side. So whenever you're ready, make your way up and see this. Grab some water. She never comes and hangs out when I do these classes. She usually doesn't like that I'm yelling so much, so it's super cute that she's here right now. So when you're ready, I'll grab you onto your hand weights. You're gonna make your way into boat pose. So your sit bones are on the mat in front of you, heels are down. The most important thing here is that your back is flat and you don't want to round because you can hurt your lower back. So we're here, uh, biceps are nice and tight to the ribcage. We're starting off with hammer curls. We're here for 10. After that, you keep the arms at 90. We go out to the side for 10, sort of like your bird flapping its wings, except what you want to watch that you're not doing is you don't want to have the weights by the shoulders and just move the elbows. You want to keep the wrists and elbows moving together so that they both come up in line with the shoulders. Cool, so we're there for 10 hammer curls and then 10 out to the side. Getting ready? Oh, I gotta do this. Okay. Full pose. Five, six, seven, eight. We hammer for 10. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, to the side, in nine. Eight, seven, six, five more. Then we go from the top. In three, two, one, good. Hammer. Two, three, four, five. Samaria, your dog is adorable. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and side. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We hammer. Last set. Two, Three, four, five, last five. Four, three, two, one, to the side. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice one. You ready? Legs go long. Your legs are as wide as your mat. Your feet are as wide as your mat. Your feet are flexed. Just keeping one weight to start. The weight is coming into your right hand. So you want to make sure that your right arm is nice and close to your right cage. You're sitting up nice and tall. That right hand with the weight is crossing over to the left toes. You're twisting the wrist. So the palm is facing this way, but when we twist, the palm is facing down the mat. And then when you pull it back, again, that bicep is coming nice and tight. So you're keeping that core tight. Your left elbow is going to be out wide. It can either be the hand at the hip or the hand behind the head. It's totally your call. Right arm is working. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Cross, pull, two, three. Nice twist in the core. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Five, 
two. One, and pull, nice little shake out. Switch that weight over, left hand is working. Right elbow is wide, getting ready. Five, six, seven, eight, cross, pull. Two, three, four, Three, 
four, hold and pulse. Two, three, four, six. Two, three, four, hold and pulse. Seven, two, three, four, hold and pulse. Eight, two, three, four, hold and pulse. Nine, two, three, four, hold and pulse. Ten, two, three, four, hold and pulse. Two, three, four, last ten. Two, you're almost there. Hold and pulse. Nine, two, three, four, hold and pulse. Two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, hold and pulse. Seven, two, three, four, hold and pulse. Six. Two, three, four, hold and pulse. Five, two, three, four, hold and pulse. Four more, that's it. Two, three, four, hold and pulse. Two, three, four, three. Two, three, four, hold and pulse. Two, three, four, two more. Two, three, four, hold and pulse. Last one. Two, Three, four, hold and pulse. Two, three, four. Nice. Take a child. Sit the sit bones back. Reach the arms forward. Good. And we are going to keep working out, but we're going to come through one nice stretch just before we do that. So coming into tabletop, those toes are tucked. Keep the hips stacked over top of the knees. Step the hands forward so that you're extending through the arms and surrender the chest to the mat. We're coming into extended puppy pose. Once you're in the pose, you can either rest the forehead down or you can rest the chin down to keep the throat open. You can untuck those toes and just hold there for a couple deep breaths. Good, just one more full breath right here. And then when you're ready, tucking those toes, pressing yourself up to get some water, and we will keep going. All right. So we're coming over to that left side. So that you're on your left shoulder and on your left hip. But you want to make sure that your left arm is long down the body. The left, uh, sorry, excuse me. The left forearm is uh, down, the palm facing the mat. You do not want to have that left arm up anywhere near shoulder head. You want to keep it down here so that when you lift it up, you keep the elbow or the shoulder stacked over top of the elbow. What happens when we do this is um, you can dislocate the shoulder by doing that over, you know, um, by training the muscle in that way. You want to train the muscle in the way that it's going to best protect your shoulder and your joints. So that left arm is close to the body, right arm is up to the sky. You've got three options here. You can either hug both knees into the chest. You can lift just that top leg or you can lift both legs. We're here just for 20. Getting ready? Left forearm is down on the mat. That arm is close to the body. Five, six, seven, eight is up, down. Two, taking your option. Three, you're breathing. Four, four, tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back. Nice, come on to your back. <laughs> Getting into bridge pose. So you're here, the feet are about hip width apart. Um, and you're, you're working your glutes. You've got two options here. Your level one option is you can just lift and lower those hips like so. So you're really squeezing those glutes. Maybe level twos, maybe you want to be high on those toes. Level threes, you're going to keep the hips lifted. Um, arms are on the mat for support and you're kicking it right and left. Cool. Taking your option. We're not here for very long. It's just a little transition before we do the other side. Just 20. Hips are lifted. Level threes. Five, six, seven, eight. It's up. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 
last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, that's it. When you're ready, coming on to your right side, come on to these sit. Again, taking whatever option works for you. You can hug both knees in, you can lift just that top leg, or you can lift both legs. Just make sure that right forearm is nice and close to the body. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven.
Remember that there are lots of things that are out of your control. So try not to focus on those things. Just focusing on your world and what you can do to make your day better. And when you're ready, slowly rolling up the spine on the inhale. Good, carefully use the hands to guide the knees together. Send those legs out long and give it a little shake, shake, shake. Give yourself a high five. Thank yourself for taking the time out of your day. Uh, and I thank you for coming and hanging out with me this morning. And I will see you very, very soon. Thanks, guys.